Hey, just a quick word about third-party batteries. I'm talking about the uh, Fuji alternatives. Uh, I've got a, a Fuji X100V. So this is the original. Uh, let me see if I can get that in focus. If not, then what I'll do is I'll show you it here on uh, the other camera. Works fine. This is the NWP126. Uh, this is the S version for the 100V camera. So because they're expensive, I bought some cheapo uh, batteries from Amazon. They worked fine. They hold a charge. They last about as long. Um, but one thing that seems to be a problem with them, and it's a big problem, so it could have been potentially very bad, is that they actually, they bow, they expand, they bulge out, so they get jammed in the battery compartment. Um, the cheaper makes, I think internally, can have leaks that cause the the bulging and so on. Let me show you these. I'm not singling out these particular makes, but two of them, which are the same make, have both got the uh, expansion of the bulge, so they kind of got stuck in the battery compartment, quite difficult to get it out. Uh, and the other one is a different make, but they're probably all made in the same place. When I put them together, if, let me see if you can actually see that on here. And if not, again, I will show no, it's not focusing. I'll show you here, uh, and you might be able to see, can you see that? They should be totally flat, and they're not, they're bulging at both sides. So there's this one, which I got, and uh, you know, they're cheap and cheerful, that's fine. So I got two of those, and the other make I got was uh, this one. And again, this one actually expanded and got stuck. So these three are now useless, and not only useless, potentially dangerous, and could have damaged the camera. So these are going to go to the uh, recycling centre where we can get rid of batteries safely. The price of an original Fuji I still think is ridiculously expensive, but the damage you can have, and the dangers with a battery that might have internal leakage, is pretty serious. I think in future I'd probably sooner have a single extra original than two or three of these. Now there is an issue with Fuji cameras which is that the batteries don't seem to last very long. For a full day shooting you probably need a set of four, just how it is. Um, but the short term economy, and I was warned about this, I ignored the warning, I was warned about this, uh, the short term economy can turn into a major problem. If you've been lucky with them that's fine. I don't know if there's a problem because I'd left these stored and unused for a while. It could be that, it could be my fault, um, but I think it's safer, probably, for me at least, to avoid these in future and just save up a little bit to get an extra original, which I think they're about 40, 45 pounds in the UK. These are something like 18 or 20 pounds for two. So, you know, there's certainly a difference in quality, isn't there? Anyway, just thought I'd mention that because this uh, bulging of the batteries is something I'd heard about before, and not only is it making the battery unusable, it could potentially ruin your camera if you can't get the thing out. If it continues to swell, then you might end up with a damaged battery compartment, and that would certainly be more expensive to fix than a replacement battery. Okay, thanks for watching.